Within Assemble, one of Assemble's greatest strengths is really around quantification of the model. Assemble was actually initially born and adopted for the quantification process. And you can really bring in any 3D model up here into Assemble and extract out any quantity information that you need for any different type of takeoff. Today, we'll quickly focus in on a quick little wall takeoff. So in order to drive into a wall takeoff in here, what we're gonna do is isolate into all of the walls that we have here in the project. So you can see them right down here in the inventory. I can select that and adjust our visibility and say hi to others, or I can go ahead and actually create a rule to drive through this information. So coming into the visibility settings, what I'm gonna do is say show only, category name, and we'll pop right into walls here. And now going ahead and doing quick update, right away I can now see all the walls here within the project. The next thing that we might wanna do is start to organize these walls by type. So that way we can get the quantities by type here. So right away, again, you can see that 78,818 square feet, but we wanna know how much um, of each partition type we have here. So I'm gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom of this grouping here, and I'm gonna grab my type mark grouping. A type mark within a model is gonna be that type, uh, partition type designation. So now, right away, I get that full breakdown of all of our different partition types. So I can see my A1 walls, 14,161 square feet, and then I can actually go ahead and colorize this to really validate that colorization into the model so you know where your quantities are coming from. So coming in through here, let's go ahead and now colorize by our type mark. And now right away, I can see exactly where that 14,160 square feet actually comes from for those A1 walls. It's gonna be all of that dark red right here in the middle. But one awesome value add that we also have with Assemble is going to be our 2D plans here. So within the 2D plans in Assemble, they're actually gonna be dynamic 2D smart sheets. So if I go ahead and I click on all of my A1 walls here, I can jump into my selected tab and now take a scan through each floor plan and really validate that I'm pulling the most accurate information. So now as I come in here, I can see that all of these walls are actually in fact the A1 walls here from the 2D plans and I can make sure that I'm accounting for all of those A1 walls and I'm not missing any and I'm correctly accounting for those A1 walls as well. So once you go through your validation process, the last step in the quantification process is just gonna to be to save this information out. So right here with this little floppy disk, I can come in and I'm gonna save this down as a wall takeoff. And what's really awesome about Assemble is that now we can actually utilize that saved out view right there across different model versions and even across different projects to start templatizing things and standardizing everything across your company. And then lastly, in order to push this information into an estimate, right here, we can export it right down into Excel and either do your estimate within Excel or feed that to another estimating solution.